Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that'd be even better. And for everyone, whether you've seen me before or not, if you could click that notification icon, that would be awesome because that way you'll be notified anytime I release some new content. So how's everyone? Um, it was a hot one out here today, like bad hot. And uh, I know it was hot because we actually have a fairly expensive weather station mounted on the top of our shed. Um, my wife is completely into the weather. She really went into the wrong profession <laughs> when she was going through college because she likes the weather. I think she would have made a good weather person. So we, we ended up getting this big weather station. And to sh tell you how much that she's into the weather, she actually looked into the price of buying like a mini Doppler radar <laughs> for our backyard. That's her. But anyways, my weather station said that it hit 100 today. And anywhere near that, and I'm I'm done. I'm not going outside. So um, it was funny. I did walk in and I saw the birds. And I realized that they were in the direct sun because we keep the big cage kind of by the window so they can look outside. They enjoy that. But it was too hot. And I was afraid that if I didn't lower the blinds a little bit, that the next time I walked back, there might be some cooked um, cornichons or probably more like quail <laughs> sitting in the cage instead of my, my, my colorful birds. So I lowered the shade so everything was fine. And um, they were fine. And they were chirping away like they were happy as anything. So um, anyway, so that's that. Today, I'm going to be reacting to another Dimash song, and it's called Across Endless Dimensions. At least, I, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what the name of it is. I don't know anything about this song. I'm sure it's amazing. I have no doubt. There's certain artists that I go into when I listen to them that I know are going to be great. Um, Angelina Jordan, Aurora, even The Warning now, and now Dimash. Um, all these guys... There's no doubt, and um, I got to throw in a Nightwish in there, too. It's going to be good. It's just like, how good is it going to be, and what's going to be my takeaway from listening to the song? So I'm excited about hearing this. The guy is so incredibly packed with talent. It's amazing. So let me get my headphones on, get this set up, and we'll dive right into it. Hold on. Uh-oh. Bob made a mistake. Um, in my introduction... I said that we were going to listen to another song um, I wrote it down somewhere, and I looked at the wrong note, Across Endless Dimensions. Yeah, that wasn't the right song, <laughs> so I apologize. I made a mistake. You know, the first time that happens, um, it's tough, but I battled through it, and now that I know what it's like to make a mistake, it won't happen again. Going to go with that. Um, the song we are going to be listening to instead is Olympico. And I believe this is from a online concert and not an actual concert in front of people or an audience. So um, I'm sure it doesn't matter with him singing. It's going to be good either way. So let's get right into it. So here's Dimash, Dimash singing Olympico. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got the look. He's serious. <laughs> Yeah. 
come on. Um, so that was all right. <laughs> Sorry, my pronunciation was off. That was all right. There was nothing wrong with that at all. You know what? If I had never heard him before, and if I closed my eyes listening to this song, I would swear that there were two people singing it. I understand there's background vocals, but I'm not talking about that. His ability, and was was that a tenor voice that he was singing in? I don't know a lot of musical, technical stuff, but it sounded like he started, I'm just going to call it a tenor voice. It may not be, but I think. Um, and then he goes into this high voice. Nobody does that. But seeing that we know better, uh, plus I have the video in front of me to know that it's not two people. But still, I am not convinced that there's not some trickery going on here. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. Um, he's just not human. And I mean that in a very complimentary way. People just don't sing like this. Um, regarding the video, uh, it was a nice effect with him uh, walking onto the stage. I like that a lot. A lot. I like how the, when he started singing, he started in the lower register that I was talking about and really didn't go up from there until he had been on the stage for just a little bit. So that was, I like that because it, it creates a bit of a change. So you're not just the same throughout the song. He starts out a little different and then he works into a, like a different register, which I like a lot. Uh, was it me or did his voice get even better as he got onto the stage? I was, when he was in backstage and I was listening to him, I'm like, man, he's just killing it. And then he got on stage and it got even better. And whatever note in heaven this last, uh, this last note that he sang came from, what part of heaven it came from, So that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> How do you make vocal cords do that? <laughs> My voice is so low. And I've tried to sing high, at least when I'm alone in a car driving and no one else is around. It just, the sound does not come. At some point, it's just a... <laughs> that is... I'm not even going to try to explain it in all these fancy words. That was just the most incredible voice I've ever heard. Um... What I like about this, and since I've seen him before, I was able to set aside for a bit, at least, his range and take a little time to appreciate the sheer power and conviction of his voice. Because when you first start listening to him, all you can think about is his range. And I like that at least this song, even though at the end I was blown away, but 
I like now that I know him a little bit more and I've heard a couple of songs from him, I'm able to look a little deeper into his singing. Um, I couldn't do that the first couple of songs because I was stuck in disbelief mode <laughs> when I heard him sing. Guys, this was a heck of a song. You guys told me when I reacted to SOS and I said, that'll be the best song I ever heard. And you guys, a lot of you said, uh, 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 you're being a little quick here. Listen to some more of his songs and you tell me that later. And you're right. I, I don't know if this is better, maybe, but they're all so high. Um, how do you pick a favorite? I don't know. Um, much of this song, which I really liked, had more of a traditional opera sound to it, at least when he was in his uh, lower register, and I liked that a lot. Um, I love modern music, but going back to that um, traditional, those pr traditional presentations of singing really get me going, and I just thought he did a great job. I've never heard him sing quite like that before as far as sounding as opera as he did. And I loved it. This guy, you're right. This guy can sing anything. And as I listen to more of his songs, I'm going to really be looking forward to hearing him kind of getting in other genres because each time you hear one of his songs, it's a whole new journey. And um, at least it is for me. This, this was amazing. And... A couple of times there, I was just sitting there with my mouth open. I apologize, but what do you say? How, how do you react to that? So, all right, let me get my headphones off, and I'll be right back for my final thoughts. All right, hold on. All right. Wow. Um, I'm not even going to try to pull some words out to try to describe what we just listened to. Bottom line, it was amazing, and... There's nothing I'm going to say to make you feel any stronger or less about the song. So why even bother? It was great. You're not going to hear, search YouTube. You're not going to find much better than this. Um, people are born with skills all the time. Um, but not everyone understands what it takes to take advantage of that skill. Clearly, Dimash did. And he understands the difference between his gift, if you would, and his hard work. The gift is what we're born with, but it requires uh, study and training to achieve this level of mastery. And it isn't just singing training. You have to know music. You have to learn about music. So for him to uh, do what he's done is crazy. I'm not taking away um, anything from him saying that it was a gift, uh, even though it was. But it isn't like, what type of analogy can I use here? Um, it isn't like he's some trust fund baby of vocalists playing with the money or the talent, if you will, that someone else earned. He earned this. He did everything he had to do to bring his voice and the gift that he received to the level that it's at. And I've never heard anyone better than this in my life. We And I react to some really good singers, and they're all different, so I'm not going to say he's any more entertaining than anybody else. But I think when it comes to pure talent and the mastery of his singing... I'm not sure anyone tops this. I really don't. So anyways, all right. Needless to say, I really liked it. <laughs> and um, I appreciate you guys listening. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would be great. So listen, guys, you have a great day. Peace out. And I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.